12 Ways to Cure Completely Hemorrhoid Sith Coconut Oil A for a week. Those who have suffered from hemorrhoids know how painful and annoying condition it is. Hemorrhoids are characterized by enlargement and abnormal downward displacement of anal tissues, or lower part of the rectum. Hemorrhoids are very common among adults above the age of 50 years. Constipation and strain during bowel movement inflames the veins around the anus and lower rectum which lead to the formation of hemorrhoids. Although hemorrhoids is a painful condition, it is harmless in nature. It can be treated successfully with the help of natural ingredients such as coconut oil. Coconut oil contains a number of beneficial properties that help to heal the condition. Is coconut oil good for hemorrhoids? The anti-inflammatory properties of coconut oil make it the perfect topical and internal remedy for hemorrhoids. It soothes the inflamed veins and promotes fast healing of the infection. Coconut oil contains medium-chain fatty acid molecules MCFA, healthy fats that relieve irritable bowel syndrome and indigestion which can inflame the intestinal tract and lead to hemorrhoids. Coconut oil also promotes better bowel movement by lubricating the rectum and relieves constipation, one of the main causes of hemorrhoids. How to use coconut oil for hemorrhoids? Here are the best ways of using coconut oil to treat hemorrhoids. Choose any one method among them and try it regularly with some patients. 1. Coconut oil. Dip a cotton ball in virgin coconut oil. Apply it over the hemorrhoids and hold in on for 5 to 10 minutes. Reapply coconut oil to the hemorrhoids 3 to 4 times a day till it is completely healed. 2. Coconut oil drink. Take 1 tablespoon of coconut oil and add it to a cup of lukewarm green tea. Drink it up slowly. You can consume up to 3 tablespoons of coconut oil in this way throughout the day to relieve constipation that causes hemorrhoids. Note, the maximum dose of coconut oil is 3 tablespoons per day, but it is best to start with a teaspoon few times a day till it suits you. 3. Coconut Oil Suppositories. Heat the coconut oil at around 70 degrees, so that the oil is in a semi-solid state. Spread a line of coconut oil on a wax paper or aluminium foil about the length and thickness of a pencil. Wrap the wax paper or foil around the coconut oil and keep it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Take it out from the freezer, unwrap it and cut the coconut oil stick into 1 inch pieces. Take one coconut oil suppository and place it in the rectum. Repeat it 1 to 2 times a day. Note, coconut oil tends to melt quickly, so you have to work fast with the suppository. 4. Garlic and coconut oil salve. Garlic has strong antibiotic effects that kill the germs causing any infection and blood pressure in the inflamed veins. It also increases blood flow to the area and reinforces the blood vessels in and around the rectum. Peel a 2-inch piece of garlic and crush it to make a paste. Add it to 2 tablespoons of coconut oil and mix thoroughly. Keep this mixture in the freezer for 15 minutes. Take it out and apply this salve to the hemorrhoids directly. Repeat the application 2 times a day till the hemorrhoids are completely healed. 5. Turmeric and Coconut Oil Ointment the potent anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric help to soothe and heal the inflamed veins around the anus and inside the rectum. Crush an inch of fresh turmeric root and add one tablespoon of coconut oil to it. Mix it well to form a thick ointment. Apply it to the hemorrhoids directly. Reapply this remedy two to three times a day. Note, if you don't have fresh turmeric root, then use turmeric powder instead of it. 6. Aloe Vera and Coconut Oil Balm the anti-inflammatory and cooling properties of aloe vera gel helps to reduce inflammation, itching and irritation associated with hemorrhoids. Take an aloe vera leaf and scrape out the gel from inside the leaf. Add a tablespoon of coconut oil to the aloe vera gel and mix with a spoon. Apply the soothing balm to the hemorrhoids. You can repeat this remedy as many times as you want in a day. 7. Witch Hazel and Coconut Oil Soak the potent astringent property of which hazel shrinks the swollen veins and stops bleeding. It also disinfects the area to reduce the risk of infections and relieves itching. Add 10 drops of witch hazel to 2 tablespoons of coconut oil and mix well. Soak a cotton ball in the mixture and apply it over the hemorrhoids. Leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes and then discard the cotton ball. Repeat this process 1 to 2 times in a day. Eight apple cider vinegar and coconut oil mix apple cider vinegar is effective in treating hemorrhoids both internally and externally 
It helps to reduce the swelling, pain and irritation associated with hemorrhoids. Combine 1 tablespoon each of unfiltered apple cider vinegar and coconut oil in a bowl. Dip the cotton ball in this mixture and hold it over the inflamed area for 3 to 4 minutes. Reapply this remedy 2 times in a day till inflammation is completely healed. 9. Lemon Juice and Coconut Oil Rub. Vitamin C and other nutrients in lemon juice help to strengthen the capillaries and blood vessel walls. It provides relief from pain and stops bleeding. Cut a lemon and squeeze out its juice. Add 1 tablespoon of coconut oil to it and mix well. Apply this mixture to the inflamed area. Repeat this remedy 3 to 4 times in a day. Note, one might feel some tingling or burning sensation while applying lemon juice, but it won't last very long. 10. Almond Oil and Coconut Oil Mix Almond oil is an effective treatment for external hemorrhoids due to its emollient and deep tissue absorption properties. It moisturizes the inflamed areas and provides relief from burning as well as itching. Add 1 tablespoon each of almond oil and coconut oil in a bowl. Dip the cotton ball in this mixture and apply it on the inflamed area. Repeat this process several times a day for best results. 11. Olive Oil and Coconut Oil Mix Olive oil is known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It helps to enhance the elasticity of the blood vessels which helps to relieve inflammation. Add 1 tablespoon each of extra virgin olive oil and coconut oil in a bowl. Apply this mixture to the hemorrhoids 2 to 3 times every day. You can also consume this mixture on a daily basis to reduce inflammation of the rectum. 12. Tea Tree Oil and Coconut Oil Soak Tea tree essential oil has potent anti-inflammatory effects that reduce the inflammation of capillaries and tissues of the rectum. Add 3 to 4 drops of tea tree oil into 1 tablespoon of coconut oil. Soak a cotton ball into it and hold it over the inflamed area. Wait for 5 minutes and discard the cotton ball. Repeat this remedy 1 to 2 times in a day. Hemorrhoids, piles, are inflamed veins inside your nuss or lower rectum. They typically occur after straining during bowel movements, but they may also develop during pregnancy due to increased pressure on the veins in the rectal area. While small hemorrhoids may cause no symptoms, the Mayo Clinic explains that larger hemorrhoids often cause itching, pain, irritation, anal swelling and painless bleeding during or after bowel movements. Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate may help relieve the pain and inflammation of hemorrhoids when added to bath water. Step 1. Fill a clean bathtub with very warm water. Only about 6 inches of water is necessary to use Epsom salt to relieve hemorrhoids, but you can add more water if you desire. Step 2. Add 1 cup of Epsom salt for every 6 inches of water. If you fill a standard tub completely, you will need to use about 2 cups of Epsom salt. Larger tubs, such as garden tubs, may require twice that amount, according to the Epsom salt council. Step 3. Use your hand to mix the bath water until all of the Epsom salt is dissolved. You should feel no salt at the bottom of the tub. Step 4. Sit in the water, in a comfortable position, for 15 to 20 minutes. You can recline in the tub if you wish, but your rectal area should remain submerged for at least 15 minutes. Step 5. Rinse your body with warm water and then towel dry. If possible, Allow your rectal area to air dry, as rubbing or patting the area may cause irritation and increase inflammation. The Mayo Clinic recommends using a hair dryer on a low setting to prevent irritation caused by moisture in the rectal area. Step 6. Apply topical hemorrhoid creams or over-the-counter suppositories after bathing and drying your rectal area. If your doctor has prescribed medication to treat your hemorrhoids, follow his instructions as to when you should apply the medication. Step 7. Bathe in warm water and Epsom salt every few hours until your symptoms improve. Stop using Epsom salt if you develop increased itching, inflammation or pain. Or if you experience symptoms of an allergic reaction, such as hives or f Anyone who has ever suffered from either internal or external hemorrhoids can attest to the fact that they are extremely painful, can easily lead to bleeding, and will definitely affect your daily life until you figure out how to stop bleeding hemorrhoids. Although you are probably reading this in search of a bleeding hemorrhoid treatment it is imperative to first understand the cause and effect of hemorrhoids before finding out how to stop their bleeding. There are two varieties of bleeding piles that can occur, and those are internal and external ones. 
internal bleeding hemorrhoids most likely will not be accompanied by pain and are generally discovered after noticing bloody stool and multiple bowel movements. External bleeding hemorrhoids are easier to discover as they are quite painful and can bleed rather frequently. This type of piles can be caused by numerous things ranging from poor diet, excessive sitting, pregnancy, excessive alcohol or caffeine consumption or weak blood vessels and capillaries among other things. The hemorrhoids that bleed can drastically affect your daily life and ability to accomplish seemingly innocuous tasks such as sitting, running, or walking and due to the extreme pain that can accompany them, they can be a burdensome ailment to experience. If you are currently experiencing a hemorrhoid attack and are wanting to learn how to stop the bleeding, luckily there are multiple treatments available that will effectively stop the bleeding as well as prevent future occurrences of such type of piles. One of the most common ways to stop bleeding hemorrhoids is the popular cure that involves apple cider vinegar. Ingesting apple cider vinegar has been used as an effective way to stop the bleeding for centuries and will cure both internally and externally bleeding piles. Simply consume a few tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with each meal daily. If you have external hemorrhoids, you can stop the bleeding by applying apple cider vinegar to them as the apple cider vinegar will act as an astringent and will stop the bleeding as well as reduce pain and swelling of the anus. An alternative bleeding piles treatment is that of a warm bath and gentle cleansing of the affected area. This hemorrhoids cure works by cleaning out the corresponding pile of bacteria and reducing the swelling and her bleeding with warm water. If this treatment proves to be unsuccessful, another way to relieve the bleeding hemorrhoids is by applying a cold ice pack to them. This natural cure will stop the bleeding by reducing the swelling and will also help alleviate a lot of the pain associated with the inflammation. Additional ways to remove the bleeding is through the use of neem oil, hemorrhoidal cream, and baby wipes. All three of the above will reduce the swelling, which will make the bleeding blood vessel constrict. This will also take care of the itchiness or skin irritation and pain that go along with the bleeding. As long as you follow the above mentioned advice on how to stop bleeding hemorrhoids and use one or multiple natural piles cures, you should be able to successfully stop the bleeding as well as reduce any swelling or subsequent pain that is associated with the engorged piles.